A lot of people who live in Nightdale work between here and downtown Raleigh. There's a commuting option we want to make sure you know about that can save you money as well as time spent fighting traffic. I'm Brian Bowman. This is What's New in Nightdale. So I started riding about three years ago um, to save money uh, and to do something that I thought was good for the environment from a personal perspective and honestly because I like riding my bike as well so I can mix up the bike and the bus and it's, it's kind of fun on the way to work and on the way home. All right, take it easy. Um, when you pay for monthly parking, I was paying like $105 to park and it didn't seem as convenient to have to drive and have additional oil changes and everything every day. I make it in approximately the same time frame and I save on gas and wear and tear on my car. It's cheaper than maintaining an automobile, insurance, gas, all that stuff. For a couple of bucks you can get anywhere you want to go. The KRX is a commuter bus route that loops between Nightdale, Wake Med, and downtown Raleigh six times a day during the week, three times each morning and three times each afternoon. The morning commutes begin at 6.20, 7.20, and 8.20. The afternoon commutes from Raleigh to Nightdale start at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, and 6 o'clock. Details are available at goraleigh.org. There's uh, an extra 62 people a day who are moving into Wake County or uh, are born to current residents of Wake County, and that's going to be hundreds of thousands of people over the next uh, decade or two. And the county's looking forward to how are we going to move these people around so that the economy functions, so that people can participate fully uh, in the everyday uh, life of the county, and public transportation has to be, has to be a vision for that. Uh, or a part of that vision. There are a lot of options to residents throughout the county. Uh, we have a lot of express routes. Um, we have um, a downtown circulator in Raleigh. We have a lot of shuttles. We have a very expensive van pool, van pool program at Go Triangle. So I think there are a lot of options that are available um, to transit users and um, we're more than happy um, to help folks where it's new and to kind of relieve some of that anxiety. The EPA in 2014 said that transportation is about 26% of the carbon emissions. That's huge. <laughs> that's just transportation. That's just, you know, you getting to and from work every day and traveling around to the grocery store and whatever. So the goal for us is to, um, to help you to eliminate some of that, whether it is by transit, by um, van pool or carpool or whatever. Transit is just the easiest one. I'm actually going to meet a friend downtown and grab a bite to eat. And he told me about the bus. He rides it very frequently. He actually told me that it ran in Nightdale. And I, I told him, I had, no way. I've never seen it in Nightdale. And um, he told me right by the Burger King. Sure enough, we looked it up online. Very easy on the website and uh, told me what time to be there. Now for folks who have never ridden the bus before, what would you say to them to encourage them to give it a try? Well, I would tell them that they would save on gas, first of all. And then I, I don't believe that 40 would be as jam-packed in the morning and during the rush hours if they would just get on the bus. It does um, give you a break as well from being into the, into the traffic. To buy your pass, simply pay the driver at the stop or buy a multi-day pass at the Moore Square Station or at the Go Raleigh Operations Office on Poole Road. A one-day, one-way fare is $1.25. Bus fare is free for seniors 65 and older and for kids 12 and younger. People with physical disabilities also get a substantial discount. Here are a few tips for first-time commuters. Do a little planning ahead of time. And um, to plan, you can either go online and look up the schedule and see what time you need to meet the bus and what time you'll get to work and, and the reverse. And the first day, allow a little time. Go on a, on a day when it's not stressful, that you don't have like a meeting when you first hit the door so that you can get a little more comfortable with it. And if you're still kind of really, really nervous about it, 
We have an ambassadors program that we just restarted. If you go on our website, you can read more about it and you can reach out to us to see if we can get someone to go with you and to just show you, this is how you swipe your card to get on the bus. This is where you wait for the bus and, and just go through the whole thing with you on your first day. From Moore Square, you can get to just about anywhere in Raleigh. And you can also connect to other express routes or other um, triangle, go triangle routes to get to Durham, to Chapel Hill, to RTP, um, to Morrisville, to Cary. But what if you're at work in downtown Raleigh and you're needed back here in Nightdale for an emergency? You don't have a car to get back. Well, the folks at Go Triangle have anticipated that need and offer a free service to get you back here in case of an emergency. So for our commuters that are using uh, the transit system or a van pool service uh, or they're carpooling with a, a neighbor or a coworker, they can register for emergency ride home. It's totally free and that means if your child is sick or you get sick, uh, uh, or even if you're told uh, that you need to stay late for, for work and you're going to miss the bus or miss your van pool, uh, you get a free trip back home using a, a taxi cab company that we have contracts with uh, or Enterprise, depending upon uh, what distance you are from home. Uh, it's an easy program. It's free to the user. It's free to the companies. Uh, and it's a low-cost way for us to provide that assurance that people can get home once they uh, leave their car there. And we ask that you return the rental car um, as agreed, and we cover that one day. So, and you have to pay for the gas. So we cover the rental car, but not the gas. But the fact is, you're not stuck. Once you're you not stuck. In. You're not stuck. There is a way, um, and that's a huge um, deterrent for a lot of people. They consider, you know, they're all the what ifs. Well, we've got the what ifs covered for you. <laughs> Nightdale may get many more trips each day depending on a possible referendum this fall. Wake County Commissioners may add the proposed transit plan referendum to November's ballot. If voters agree, a half cent sales tax plus an additional vehicle registration fee would fund greatly expanded transit options. So the Wake Transit Plan is uh, an effort by all the jurisdictions in Wake County, along with Go Triangle and other major institutions like NC State and the airport and Research Triangle Park, to put together a vision for uh, moving people around the region as we grow uh, over the next decade or so. And uh, it's a public transit vision for really moving from the service that we have today to something that uh, can be used by many people uh, in the, the urban areas of the region and connects all the communities uh, in Wake County. Uh, today, there's just there's commuter service that's provided between Nightdale and uh, downtown. Uh, there's three trips in the morning, three trips, uh, four trips in the afternoon coming back. Uh, it's really meant to be a coverage service so that people who don't have other uh, trips in or uh, who don't want to drive in can uh, make access to the downtown Raleigh area for, for their jobs or for, for other purposes. Uh, but it's pretty limited in terms of the number of hours and this plan would expand that so that it runs all day long uh, about 15 hours a day on uh, weekdays and saturdays and 12 hours a day on sunday so it really becomes an option connecting people in nightdale uh, to everything that's going on in the rest of the region yeah there are four big uh, big moves that are proposed with this plan uh, the first is to connect regionally and that means connecting wake county with uh, durham and orange counties in particular uh, and that's through improving the express bus connections and also uh, working on a commuter rail that would connect all the way from Garner through Raleigh, the communities of uh, Cary and Morrisville to RTP and up to Durham. Uh, it would also run through NC State and that's the idea of connecting regionally with the plan. The next is to connect all the communities in Wake County. So uh, connecting the largely residential uh, outlying communities to the job centers and the activity centers in Raleigh and Cary so that every community would have public transportation service. And not just uh, the commuter service that exists today in many of those communities, but running it all day long so that it's uh, useful for more people and it's uh, a lifeline connection for, for those who need public transportation. The other pieces of the, the plan are 
to make sure that in the urban areas that there's a high frequency network that is available when people want it. So that's really providing service every 15 minutes in the major corridors uh, and making infrastructure investments where it's congested so that the buses can move at a good speed uh, through, the, through those corridors. And then the final is enhancing the access for everyone. And that's not just uh, people today who have access to public transportation and having better bus stops or sidewalk connections, but also so that the towns like Nightdale, like Wendell, like Zebulon, uh, if, it's, if they feel like they need local uh, circulation with public transit, that 50% of the cost of that will be paid for out of a sales tax, which is the major funding source uh, for moving ahead with this. In the Wake Transit Plan, you will see that a number of um, BRT or bus rapid transit plans are proposed. Um, four BRT corridors are being proposed, four routes. And um, that really just means that we'll have higher frequency bus service so that um, you'll figure out ways um, so that the buses can move um, more freely and they won't be um, stuck in as much traffic as kind of the typical bus routes. There'll be routes that are really streamlined and focused so that we can get you where you need to go a lot quicker. What we are proposing is over about 10 years, um, you will see um, bus funds will quadruple and that will result in about a tripling of bus service. So you will get a lot more coverage around a lot more areas of Wake County, including Nightdale. Several years ago, the uh, state legislature enabled uh, counties like Wake County to have a half cent sales tax for public transportation purposes. And, but it has to be voted on by the citizens of the, the county. And so the Wake County commissioners can put a referendum on the ballot and uh, they're thinking about doing that for this November, in which case all voters uh, in Wake County would have an opportunity to say yes or no to uh, levying a half cent sales tax that would go toward funding this plan for expanding public transportation. There's another funding element that is local funding and that's an increase in vehicle registration fees. It's a smaller amount than the sales tax, but it's also a critical funding element to be able to carry out this vision for uh, enhancing public transportation in Wake County. An additional $7 in vehicle registration fees levied by the county, and an additional $3 uh, in Wake County levered by Go Triangle for a total of an additional $10 in vehicle registration fees paid each year. Several public hearings are coming up where you can learn more about the proposed plan. We have a number of meetings coming up where residents all over Wake County can let us know their thoughts and ideas about the Wake Transit Plan. We're open to hearing more ideas. We're excited to hear um, residents tell us on ways that we can improve and, and do better and want to hear their ideas. And so we do have a proposed plan um, that folks can view at waketransit.com. And there um, you can view the plan and we'll have a number of public hearings um, throughout the month of May and a public hearing May 18th um, in downtown Raleigh at the Convention Center. But we will also be having additional meetings throughout the county so that uh, we can be sure to get all of the feedback that we can um, and then consider adopting the plan in June. No matter what voters decide, public transit will play an important role as Nightdale and the metro region continue to grow. Um, just last year, Wake County welcomed its one millionth resident to the county and so with so much growth, it really is time that we evaluate our transit planning um, so that we can make sure that our transit plans can keep up with this pace of explosive growth that we're experiencing in Wake County. A lot of people don't reach out to public transportation and I think that they should. You're not only saving to help the environment, you're also saving money in your pocket. This world isn't just for us, it's for our kids and for other people. And now with all the issues in regard to kids with breathing problems and asthma and difficulty on the rise of that, I think taking the bus isn't a bad idea. If you'd like to do a little research to see if the KRX is a good option for your commute into Raleigh, we encourage you to go to gotriangle.org. There you can find all sorts of information about fares, departures, and arrivals. This just might be the best way for you to commute and leave the car at home. For What's New in Nightdale, I'm Brian Bowman.